Hello, today I am in a two bedroom, one bathroom apartment. It's a very large apartment and I'll show you why in a minute. I'm in the 800 block of West Aiken, which is a block south of Irving in between Lakeshore Drive and the Sheridan Red Line stop. And I said this was a large two bedroom and let me show you why. This is the front room. It's over the stairs in the foyer. A lot of places this is a third bedroom. So this would actually be a three bedroom, one bathroom apartment that you'll see a lot of places, but this owner has kept it as a two bedroom so you could have a nice in-home office or just extra room to do whatever. If you had an office, there's a closet right off of this. It's really big. It's also served as a coat closet. You can see underneath the stairs going, there's some uh, additional storage. New electrical, new lights. They've just redone the hardwood floors. The gas fireplace that you see over there does work. You can see the floors are really nice. Nice lights. They've redone the bathroom as well as the kitchen. New espresso kitchen cabinets, white pulls, stainless steel appliances, dishwasher, in-unit washer and dryer. So it's all the modern conveniences, but you see they've lost, left a lot of the vintage charm. This would have been a coat rack years and years ago. There's the front door there to the right. To the left is the linen closet across from the bathroom. I'll show you that more in a minute. This is one of the bedrooms. Nice new ceiling fan also. This bedroom would definitely hold a queen size bed, no problem. This also faces east, so it's going to get a lot of light. So the wall that you're looking at over here right now, you can see it's got a really nice closet on it for this bedroom. So what is not closet in this room or is closet in the other bedroom or the linen closet that you saw out front. So now we're walking back by the front door. Again, across from the front door, you can see there's a linen closet, nice cedar shelving in it. Central heat and air conditioning, gas forced heat. Here's the new bathroom, new vanity, new tile, new toilet, stone countertop, new modern lighting, and a nice mirror. See, it's a shower and tub combination. This is the next bedroom. This bedroom's not quite as big as the first one. I think it would hold a queen size bed. It'd be tight probably. Definitely a double bed. Would give you a lot more room for a double bed and a dresser or something like that. This is on the alley, so you're going to get a lot of light. It's just a really bright place. It's also a, an alley that doesn't cut through the next street. So it's sort of a dead end alley, so it's not going to be really busy. Walking from here, we'll go into the dining room, which just is really big. New lights in here also. You see they've redone the floors. They're very nice. You've got some nice vintage stained glass windows there. There's a breakfast bar that leads it. It's also going to be used as a server between the living room and the, or between the kitchen and the dining room. This also has a very nice back porch. There's also a second porch that's common. It's above the three car garage. Everybody shares that one, but it's still just a lot of space. This has an in-unit washer and dryer. You can see it here. It's newer. It's very, very nice. It's a big washer and dryer. It's not one of the little small ones that you'll see a lot of times where people are just kind of trying to put them in. Just a lot of cabinets, nice espresso cabinets. See over the stove microwave, nice stainless steel fridge, stainless steel stove, stainless steel dishwasher, nice big stainless steel sink, big deep sink. Underneath that breakfast bar from this side, you have two more cabinets. So there are just a lot of cabinets in this place. I'll walk back up toward the front, show you everything one more time.